In today's video, I want to cover the new Zyk Drive Z666 from Zyk. This USB 4 enclosure is currently the fastest external enclosure I've tested to date. This is a pretty unique product with several features not common in other enclosures. Stick around for the rest of this video to learn more about the hardware and see the test results I got from this drive. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you find this video useful. To clarify before we start, this video was not sponsored and I bought and paid for this drive myself. All testing and opinions on this video are my own. If you've seen any of my content, you know that I cover many different storage devices including NAS units, Thunderbolt, and USB enclosures. When I first heard about this device, I was instantly interested because of their claim that it was one of the fastest enclosures available. So I decided to pre-order the device so that I could test it for myself and see if it lives up to its claims. Before we get into the testing, let's quickly cover the hardware. The package is very minimal and you're greeted with only the device itself that's in the box when you open it up. As the first of this device's unique features, the cable is actually stored in the device itself. There's a short retractable cable that slides in the side of the enclosure, which is a really clever idea and probably works for most situations. The only minor issue I had with the cable is that it was really loose in the holder and if you weren't careful it would easily slide out. Not sure if it's just the one I got or if it's just all that way. Not a huge deal for me as I prefer a longer cable but I did want to point that out. On one end you have a USB 4 port that you can attach your cable to and on the other end is an indentation which you actually push up to remove the cover. Pushing up the cover removes the top and exposes the drive bay. The first thing that you notice is that the lid is really thick and the enclosure is built like a tank. The lid, which acts as the heat sink, is thick and one of the most robust designs I've seen in a while. The other thing you notice is the drive installs without any screws and uses a rotating lock to hold the drive in place. Once you put the drive in and lock it down, just peel off the plastic from the thermal pad and snap the cover back on. Looking at this thing, there's no question that it's well built and means business. The metal design and finish is made really well and you'll have to decide for yourself if you like the clear protective plastic that seems to be there mostly to keep the built up heat away from you when you're touching the drive. I do like the design but only time will tell if the clear shield actually holds up. Now let's do some tests to see how this thing performs. I wanted to do a direct comparison to another enclosure that up until today was the fastest that I had used and had been my daily driver, the Acasis Thunderbolt enclosure. I'll leave a link to that video in case you're interested in checking that out. Using a Samsung 980 Pro 2TB drive, which is currently one of my favorite SSD drives, I installed it in both the Zyke drive and the Acasis enclosures. Looking at the benchmarks, it's pretty clear that the Zyke drive is significantly faster than the Acasis enclosure using the same type of SSD. Both the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test and the amorphous disk mark show an impressive gain between the two enclosures. 10% may not seem like a lot, however, when you consider this level of performance, it's pretty impressive. You might get different performance if you use a different SSD, but all things being equal, the Zyke drive is now the one to beat when it comes to performance. Just to see how much difference drive size and density would make, I tested the Zyke drive enclosure with both a 1TB and 2TB 980 Pro. And as you can see, there really isn't much difference and the performance is fantastic on both drives. Because of the clear hard shell coating and the thicker gauge enclosure, the drive feels quite a bit cooler measuring around 106 degrees Fahrenheit versus 114 degrees Fahrenheit on the Acasis, making this one of the cooler enclosures I've used. Despite being a bit larger and bulkier, it's one of the most premium drive enclosures to date. The only real complaint I found was the included cable didn't hold correctly inside the drive and tended to slip out. I'm not sure if this is just on my own unit, but I have made them aware of the problem. Either way, for my use case, the included cable is too short, and I typically use a half a meter cable for my application. As a side note, though I could make an entire video on the inconsistencies of USB and Thunderbolt cables, Make sure you get a quality USB 4 Thunderbolt 4 certified cable to be able to extract the maximum performance from this drive. Some cables I tested can cut the speed as much as 50%. Other than this minor cable issue, I truly like this unit and have made it my primary external drive that stays attached to my Mac Studio. Anyway, that's about it for this video and please leave your questions in the comments below. 
If you found this video useful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe as it helps the channel reach more people. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.